Wars. This is Sydney on YouTube. So I broke this knuckle right here, um, and so I have to keep these fingers taped up so I don't like move it wrong, and you know I end up with my pinky out forever. But the cool thing about this is, heck yes, uh, live long and prosper. Um. Which is kind of a cool bonus to breaking my knuckle, you know. Um, but speaking of Star Trek, I had a Doctor Who marathon. Uh, it started on Friday and it just ended about an hour ago. It was just me and two other friends and we just watched Doctor Who all weekend. A lot of exciting things happened. Brenna made stir fry. Look at how tasty this all looks. Yum! A lot of this tended to happen. Uh, <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> and she doesn't uh, even remember. He's so beautiful. As well as a lot of this. <laughs> but mostly we just ended up watching Doctor Who. There were a lot of moments when we were just rolling on the floor out of pure agony and frustration over what had just happened. There was also a lot of screaming. The most exciting part about the whole thing for me was watching David Tennant as he progressed from like this angry person who's just so angry and sad to be so alone um, and all the murder that he's witnessed and stuff and just trying to make everything better transforming into the great guy that he turned out to be um, and then seeing him um, regenerate and <laughs> it was so sad because I just love David Tennant so much. And when he was a little boy of like four or five years old, he wanted to be an actor. And his inspiration came from the original series of Doctor Who. And then he ended up being able to be on Doctor Who. And I think that's the coolest thing ever. And oh, David Tennant, why can't you be in my life? <sighs> I'll see you all on Tuesday. What is that? Ah, I love David Tennant. Well, watching the doctor. How are you? Bad wolf.